Do you expect the same for Marvin Harrison Jr.? I guess it's kind of unfair when, when a guy comes in to, uh, to this season being the best wide receiver in college. You expect him to score a touchdown every time that he's on the field. Yeah, I mean, they've gotten him involved. They've moved him around. You should expect to see him outside. You should expect to see him in the slot. They got him going early last week. And then, obviously, the Indiana game, Indiana sold out to make sure Marvin Harrison Jr. wasn't the reason they beat him. The same way most teams will sell out to make sure he's not the reason. And he got going against Youngstown State the week after that in the Western Kentucky game. He really got going. Expect him to be an impact player. He's been an impact player in every game when he's on the field. He was he and C.J. Stroud were the primary reason why Ohio State led at halftime against Georgia. And we saw how momentum shifted when he got knocked out of that game. We saw what he was able to do in the Penn State game last year. This is another chance for him to add. Marvin Harrison Jr. played well in a big game once again to his resume once again. But it's also about what can Emeka Ibuka do. Marvin Harrison Jr. is clearly wide receiver number one in the 2024 NFL Draft. Emeka Buka might be the second best wide receiver in the country, and he's very much overlooked because he plays with Marvin. Can he have a breakout game? Can Julian Fleming have a breakout game? Kate Stover has been used more in the passing game. We talked about Travion Henderson, how he's been used in the past game in the past. There's just Kyle McCord has an assortment of weapons, and all he has to do is find ways to get those guys in the ball. And just he doesn't have to do anything special. Just get these weapons the ball, and they'll do special things for you.